it's just a dream. We were having a bad dream. Why are you here? To make peace. I just wanted to apologize because I think that Lucky and I should have probably talked to you and, and made it very clear about how far things have progressed with us as a couple. I mean, that we're actually together now. I'm not following. What are you apologizing for? Come on, Elizabeth. The whole unpleasant scene when you walked in and found me babysitting, I think it could have been avoided. I screwed up. I screwed up big time, and I'm going to have to live with that for the rest of my life. But I care about Lucky more, more than I ever realized or thought I would, and, and I care about those kids, I care about what's best for them, and I think that it might be best for all of us to start working together. I'm just, I'm asking you to maybe let go of the past, to maybe start thinking about letting me be a part of the kids' lives. I just, if you think I will ever let you be alone with my children again after what you did, you are out of your mind. You're not going near Jason's son. Near either of my children. Ever. What am I supposed to say? What, what I'm supposed to say? Sorry, Lucky, I can't be alone with your kids, but don't ask me to explain why. How am I supposed to share my life with him? I'm not. I guess that's the point. Because I can't trust you. Or maybe because you can't be with Jason. Because you can't stand the fact that I could actually find some happiness. You know what, Elizabeth? You would actually be punishing Lucky, too. All because I was so desperate to hold on to Jason because I was out of my mind with jealousy that you had given him the one thing I couldn't. I had a lapse. A lapse? Yes, a lapse. I did a terrible thing. I was at bottom. I actually have a chance with a decent guy right now, so I am asking you, I am begging you, to let this go. Let Lucky get on with his life so he so he can actually have somebody that treats him decent. Are you mean lie to him? Because that's what you've been doing all along. Okay, that's fair enough. I know this all started out as a way to get back at you and Jason, but something happened, something changed between Lucky and I, something I cannot explain, but you're able to keep him from seeing what you really are. Do you really believe that I could ever trust you again with my children after what you did? It must be nice knowing that whatever you say, people will just accept it. No one will ever wonder if there's more to the story. If you're suggesting that this is in some way my fault... No, you're just going along, living your life and terrible people inflict themselves on you. Rick, lucky me. And you suffer, and you suffer beautifully, but ultimately, in the end, you emerge untarnished. The town saint. I am raising two kids by myself, Sam. And when I am not working, my days consist of doing laundry, changing diapers, and cleaning up puke. Not to mention the fact that Cameron's best friend taught him it was really cool to play with matches and he almost burnt down the house with Jake in it. You think I planned all this? To retain my title as town saint? Guess again. Elizabeth, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna stay here until my leg heals and then I'm gonna go home to my saintly duties. Come on, you know what I mean. What am I gonna do about you? Yes. As far as I'm concerned, Nothing has changed.